Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. More luck be a landlord. Let's continue uh, with our rent payments costing a little bit more. Uh, it's been a couple days since I've played a little LBAL, if you catch my drift. Let's take an egg and, le and let's see where, where a little egg action takes us. We'll take a key for the early uh, possibilities of good good stuff. We could go Magpie, right? But Magpie does present a very scary situation early. Because we have to make sure that it... Uh, we have other stuff to make sure it pays out. So now we have a chick. That's good. That's actually very good. Let's take a Rabbit Fluff. Let's take a Lucky Cat. We now are going to have a, a plethora of rares coming out early. I think a Mankey is a fine addition. We have a little bit of an animal build right now, which is something to think about. We also do have a bird build, but the birds are also giving us the negative sometimes. So let's let's take a let's take a Ricky. I don't want to do a Ricky build today. We also already got our hen, which is very good. I don't want to do a full Ricky build today, but you know, having a, a little bit of fodder for our our monkey is completely fine. Let's take a wolf, and egg carton is kind of brilliant here, right? So now our hen, every egg that she does, uh, just goes into the egg carton. Those become permanents. This is a good start, to be honest. I'll take another chick as well. Um, two hens just continuing to dump eggs into the thing uh, is pretty good. Let's take a magpie. This is this is truly a bird deck. I mean, give me the goose. It's truly a bird deck. Um, and I, I have just a, an ounce of faith that the bird deck has potential to work the goose paid out like three turns in which is extremely alarming <laughs> but we we will take it give me the chemical seven um tax evasion is brilliant here because of the magpies so they now are just a nine every well it's nine every four spins without the minus ones so it's a good amount of value that you get out of that i will skip here they do present nothing, you know, early. We take another cat for the, the lucky cat action. They present to us nothing early, but that's okay. Coconut half for the Mankey. And it's a little, another coconut half. It's a little bit of a weird beginning. This is perfect. 21 from the monkey. We're, we're very ahead. Give me the coconut for the Mankey as well. The, the way that we win, I mean, here, here's the couple of win conditions. Take the thief. I, I know. Oh, dude. I mean, we got it, right? This is exactly what we wanted. Now, rusty gear is real freaking good, but checkered flag is... It's like an S-tier banger for us. And we don't really have anything that can be rusty geared. Checkered flag is very good. It's very good. The owl and the magpie both uh, get benefited from this. Thief is gone. I know the thief gives us nothing, but it's just to get the, the banana out of our deck. So it works out completely fine. Um, here, here's our win condition. If we can snag birdhouse or whatever that is, um, where it makes all the birds give us a little bit more. Um, I think this is looking good. It's a weird deck, um, which makes me very happy. But it's also, I mean, dude, sloth is, is, is just the three every spin. I think you have to take it. Beastmaster um, helps us as well here if we can get it. I think you probably skip on the goose. We, we don't need another goose. Two hens is good. They're going to keep on dumping uh, dumping stuff in our deck. This is a two every spin. I think we can get better two bangers. So let's not worry too, too much about that. Give me birdhouse and, and life is good. Birdhouse and life is good. No birdhouse. It is a Ricky. Um, this is actually a pretty terrible set. Just give me the pool ball. We want some rare items. Um, if at all possible. Give me the bronze arrow. Um, we can fill the deck with, you know, a couple of little things like that to make it, uh, make it a little nicer. We would like to start getting into where uh, we're getting some rares. I do think that Ms. Fruit is a good addition to almost every deck. <laughs> And since there is a strawberry, let, let's just roll with it. I do think a lucky is probably in order, even though the buffing is is very valuable for me. Another cherry is good. We're completely fine. Our lucky has activated. This is where we spend our rerolls. A sun is not good enough. I think Highlander is probably good enough. To be perfectly blunt. 
Um, just something giving us six a spin is, is good enough for me at the current stage of the game. Quigley would also be a good item. Th there's a lot of good animal items out there. Dude, I'm going to be real. Give me another chick. And just give me lockpick. Lockpick helps. The chick immediately... Or no, no. He, he gave birth. <laughs> it's a strange way to word it, but it's good enough. Okay, lockpick is going to hit that. I'm, I'm liking this run. I do think that we need to get more. Like, we, we can't survive on 38 a spin. Uh, so we need some more stuff to fuel it. I don't know if that's um, making Ms. Fruit into a little bit more of, of a reality for this run. This is a good arrow, man. Good arrow. Good arrow. That's an 88 round. That's very good. Another chick. Dude, I'm telling you, if we have, you know, four hens all popping eggs out... That's got some some real potential to be valuable for us. Um, it's just a lot of eggs going into the carton. Now, th the issue is the carton can only hold six. Um, so it is going to reach a point where it is no longer beneficial to do this. I, I know that it's not infinite, but the hens are still fine. Like, they, they will help us. We're, we're 100 ahead right now, which is good. The witch is intriguing. I think I would rather have the sloth, and I think I would rather re-roll. So silver arrow is fine. Chili powder is is probably also fine, um, as it, you know, will end up being better as the rest of the game goes on. Hexatedium, I don't think is what you're looking for. Um, I don't know. We're in a weird spot. This is a good run, uh, but it needs it needs more. It just needs more. And, and we'll get more. We'll get more. But a 33 round just simply can't happen. So an apple's not good enough. A mine is not good enough. A spirit is, is really not good enough. Dame is interesting. Okay. Let's take dame. It might be a weird... Uh, dude, I probably shouldn't have taken dame. Now, now that I really sit here and I, I look at it. It is a three banger. Ms. Fruit gets nicely buffed here. 24 from her. 450 doing doing three spins we will get there but this is we we need to start getting a little bit spicier here we need to start getting a little bit spicier i'm worried about the the distance this run can go another magpie is fine we're we're really in beast master bust mode i think we're still 100 ahead but okay let's skip the emerald is is really not good enough in my opinion let's take it um these are all bad too man <laughs> i guess give me uh give me ricky then let's get rid of the flower as it does not help get rid of the coin as it does not help the pearl can be buffed by Dame, but I, I think that that also qualifies as we don't need it. We, we just want to make sure that we're getting all of the stuff possible that we we know we need. So, like, Crow is still good. This is a good... Oh, dude, if only they were freaking out at the same time, that would have been really good. So, another Owl. And I'm telling you, it's, it's the bird deck. That, that, that's really what this is. If we get Birdhouse, I, I think it's just a win. This is a good buff right here. 18. I mean, if we get a couple of these 76 rounds, man, uh, we're going to be completely fine. But it, it's getting uh, a little bit more. Item Capsule. Can't give us the Birdhouse. I'm pretty sure the Birdhouse is an uncommon. Another Sloth. We, we need 130 in three spins is very possible give me the sloth beastmaster is still very high on our our list of things that we need 46 chemical 7 gives us 77 except we have to actually get it here this is a good double 18 on that okay we we will be fine just give me the removal there's the chemical 7 that we desired okay and that's 77 we're still ahead by a decent chunk um the Chemical 7 really helped us. There's the Beastmaster. Okay, this is very good. Um, telescope is also obviously, like, stupidly good. Even though we don't really have any adjacency bonuses here. Um, like, there, there's really... Beastmaster's the only one. Um, so it's... I mean, I, I suppose when it hits, Beastmaster will be very good. 
but it 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 is a little bit of an oddball one. So every four spins. Okay. So there's Beastmaster. Dude, I mean, this is a good Beastmaster. If these guys would have activated, it would have been very good. So now we want to buffing. We want to go and do some removals. We don't need the rabbit fluff anymore. We don't need... We don't need this chick. I, I Well, I mean, it's all relative. We got 32 symbols, and there's, there's 20 that go out on the board. We basically need the Beastmaster to get in on this one. So I'm going to remove two golden eggs. And then this chick. And I, I think I want to chill there. Beastmaster has been activated. The buffing hit everything. Um, this is going to be a hundred plus round for us. Telescope made this um, an absolute reality. That was very good. 153. Okay. Give me another crow. I'm telling you, man, we, we get the damn bird house, and, and this is a an extremely easy win. <laughs> it still might be an easy... Tel telescope by itself is probably good enough for a win, but to pull off the, the bird deck win does... Uh, it feels good, to be honest. It's a little bit of a weird deck. I'm finding it increasingly harder to do weird decks um, with, with the... Uh, the ascension levels in the game. So I, I'm enjoying getting some, some whack stuff to occur. Okay. Not good buffs all around. Obviously the Beastmaster buffing is still good, but not what we're looking for. Um you tell me the lucky capsule didn't come out, man. It's a wee bit annoying, I would say. 675 for this round. Let's do a skip. Let's do a skip. I'll take the treasure chest. And, uh, I mean, coin on a string is, is really not solid for us at all. It, it's a, it's a one per for us. Not very useful. Void stone is useful enough. Beastmaster's going. I, it, dude, at least, like, he's surrounded. We, we get benefit out of it, um, inherently just by him being surrounded. Another magpie. It's telescope round, baby. Okay. This is good. None of the freaking magpies or crows were ready, though. No, all the crows were ready. They're, they're minuses on... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. That's fine. As long as that happens, we're good. I do think Dame is wasted space in this deck. Um, and I should not have taken her. The Emerald and Dane are, are actually wasted space. Let, let's get rid of both of them. It gives us more opportunity for the Beastmaster to be in. Which is what we want. This is a good double right here for 18... You like to see that 74 around 675 doing three spins. We will have no issues. We, we will have no freaking issues. Those are really bad arrows. <laughs> very, very, very terrible arrows. Um, we don't care about these. We have a Ricky, but that's it, not, not valuable. Um, telescope hit. He was almost completely surrounded anyway, which is, is wild. Um, it did hit a magpie, which is good, and the crows were both in non-negative round. So it's a good Beastmaster. Ideally, we get another Beastmaster. Um, we would have to, to pull some strings to make that work, but it would be uh, pretty decent if we could get it. There's a cherry for Ms. Fruit. M Ms. Fruit still provides value, because she, she's basically a fiver right now. Um, a Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> it's just actually the worst joke I think I've ever made. Um, okay, we're, we're good, we're good. Last, uh, last banger here. Moon is actually probably good enough. It, it's, it's good enough because I, we also black pepper chili at least gives, gives one now. Um... The reason why Moon is good is because of Telescope. Because the more, uh, the more little wolves and owls in the deck, um, they're just gonna get tripled, right? On, on those four spins, if it shows up. Which still, I mean, the potential for it not to show up, right? But I, I think, I think we're happy with this. And Moon actually hit our wolf and then doubled him, so... Uh, kind of works out. An 86 round essentially given for free is, is a beautiful blessing. And then the moon actually hitting all three of our owls, especially when this owl was on his, uh, 
on his fun turn is, is even better. Here's our uh, Kaleidoscope turn. Beastmaster at least got hit. Um, Ms. Fruit also eats the, the thing. That's good as well. This is a good buff. If only we had the moon this round, this guy would have actually been been very strong. Well, 96. Give me another magpie. This is one now I would like to go in, remove the goose. I would like to remove um, two of the hens. And probably also the monkey does not benefit me a lot anymore. We basically, I, I don't know. The, the hens are not as valuable as some of our other animals. We, we want our magpies to get out like as much as possible. And uh, good good moon right here. This magpie, sadly, we, we get nothing from. Tax Evasion Checkered Flag is still... It's a, a super underrated combo in this game that a lot of people do not put the respect on. There, there's a lot of animals that can really just, you know, pop off when you have this. We have one... Uh, we'll go into Endless for, for a little bit on this one because I'm actually kind of interested to see where we can take um, this run. Because I'm not sure it has an insanely long shelf life, but I think that it's an interesting enough run that I want to, I want to do the due diligence on it. So I did accidentally open the Discord. I'm in the Discord. Don't don't try to make me join the Discord when I'm already in it. Okay. Um, Robin Hood is probably like very good. I mean, he is absolutely very good. We we don't even need to think about that. Um, when you have tax evasion checkered flag. He's basically, you know, so he, if we take a look at this, right? So Robin Hood gives negative four, but 29 every four spins. Now it's gives minus three, but 29 every three spins, which means he gives minus nine, but gives 20 every three spins, uh, which means that he's averaging like six and a third a turn. So basically Highlander, but a little better. <laughs> It's very good. It's very good. We don't need to think long and hard about it. Plus the potential for him to then get buffed in the future. Um, it's it's just very good. I do have an entire deck of magpies. Um, which, there's a little bit of issues with that for sure. I also think that we might be legitimately in a position where... Oh, this is a great buff. Look at this buff. Very good. 112. We, we might lose... We have to average a little under 100 a spin. And I'm not po- well, I mean, okay. <laughs> I'm not positive it's gonna happen, but maybe I guess it will. Um, Kaleidoscope hits and four of our magpies were, were ready? Is that accurate? Maybe three? We also had the moon hits. This is a good round, man. This is a good round. Um, 166. Yeah, we're like totally fine. <laughs> Sucks that Robin Hood got hit with the uh, the arrow here, but our Sloth also gets hit. I mean, the removal capsules, they're, they're nice to have, but we, we so don't need them. You know, we've got a lot of them, so it's not super valuable. Um, another Beastmaster is basically, you know, where we want to be um, in terms of future additions to this run. There's not a whole lot else to add. Obviously, Birdhouse still, like, that, that adds a lot to our run if we can get it. I'm gonna skip around a little bit. Dude, I think that another Robin Hood... Uh, uh, frankly, all three of these are good. I think you have to go Moon. And then Golden Carrot is hilarious. Um, but I'm gonna tell you, I think Rusty Gear is actually better. <laughs> I know that that just pained, like, everybody here. Um, but that that is better for us because... When these magpies end up in a line together, and then we get an inherent doubling off of them, that could end up being uh, that could end up being really solid. Now we don't have that yet, so it's definitely something to think about. We could give the cherry to Miss Fruit, right? She's she's still vibing. She's still vibing. This is a good triple. Twenty-seven right here. Fifty-four. Never mind. It's because it got doubled. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can see that that is actually okay. The, the bird deck is still... It's still vibing. I think it ends here. Yeah, there's like no chance in the world that we get enough money to, to bring this one um, to completion. 
155. It's gonna need a hell of a, like, final turn and a half right here. Um... Yeah, I, I'm not even sure what we could add to make this end up working. <laughs> There's also like a horrible, horrible spin. Very, very bad. We need a good kaleidoscope here momentarily. We, we basically need like a 200, 300 plus kaleidoscope if we can make it work. Um, let's hit you with uh, a reroll once. Those are those are not good enough. Okay. Big time kaleidoscope. I mean, double moon is good. Two magpies getting hit uh, is also good. The arrow not hitting is bad. Um, it, it's over 100 for sure. 219. I mean, we have to have a hell of a spin right here. A true hell of a spin. We will not get it, um, but I will tell you this was a good run. This was a good run. Um, and I think that we learned a lot about ourselves as human beings, but also a lot about, uh, just life in general. Hey, thanks so much for watching. As always, a like on the video is much appreciated. A little bit of a short one today, uh, but we, we got a, a good run going, and, uh, it's good to, to get back in the swing of luck being. Um, fair warning, luck be a landlord videos are gonna be a little bit more sparse here in the next couple of, uh, couple of weeks it's just the, the next update is in eight days right it's a little bit longer period between the last update and now um and it's just you know even though there's the apartment levels I, they don't add enough <laughs> for me to feel like i'm i'm really playing a, a a different game each time and i'm reaching the point where i feel like i've seen every type of run like I, i've done it all um, so I'm getting a little bit bored with the game. I hope you understand there, there's a bunch of other games out there in the sea for us to play right now. So, uh, yeah, they're going to be a little bit more sparse, but I also understand that you guys like it. So I try to get some out when I can. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. You have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.